Okay. Reel him in, reel him in, reel him in. You got him, you got him, you got him. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's a nice one. <laughs> have you tried Arctic Char before? I love Arctic Char. Oh, you have had it. Oh, yes, definitely, yeah. man. It, it's really good. Most people Amazingly. Tried it. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how to do it now? Press the button, fling it out. Excellent. Get one again? Come on, bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Bring him in. Wow. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be good on the grill. <laughs> mm -mm. How do you cook them? Right on the grill. Right on the grill? Yeah, I just put a little oil on them, some salt and pepper, throw it right on the grill. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a smoking, smoking hot day here at the cabin. Uh, I'm sweating up a storm. Current temperature is... Uh, in the 90s and it's over 100 with the humidity man it's hot and miserable so i stepped over here to uh to uh start this video out uh, you might be able to hear the generator in the background i got the generator connected to the cabin because i'm running the ac uh to keep it cool in there anyways i hope everybody had a great uh, fourth of july and holiday uh i just got back um as you can see we did a little fishing we had a great time um, so that was actually in Canada and we got some Arctic char man uh, and delicious mm, 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 mm. I just I love Arctic char anyway um, we also had this little guy so uh, this is one of the one of the uh, Arctic char that we caught now I have this frozen in water as you can see now I got that uh, tip from Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors, and he says that if you freeze it like that, it will taste just like the day you caught it. Well, we're gonna find that out. Uh, so when that uh, when that fishy thaws out, uh, we're gonna throw that baby on the grill, and uh, we're gonna see if uh, we're gonna put that to the test, Greg. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video for that one. Anyway, it's really really hot, so. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, stop this part right here, and uh, we'll get back at you tomorrow. Well, all right, it's the next day. Uh, the heat wave continues. I'm up a little bit early today, and um, right now it's sitting about uh, 75, but it's supposed to go up into the 80s today. And then you've got the humidity on top of that, so it'll probably feel like, hard to say, uh, probably close to 90, but... Um, that's not as bad as yesterday. And the thing about that is, I know it doesn't sound really hot to some people, but when you have that humidity, I mean, all you do is breathe and you just, you sweat. Everything is stuck to you. It's, it's just, uh, it's a nasty kind of heat. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that's what, uh, that's what we deal with here. So, uh, today I got up and got out the old coyote tractor and, uh, just did some basic maintenance. Uh, fueled it up and uh, checked the tire pressure, checked all the fluids, uh, greased everything, got everything uh, done. Um, a buddy of mine was supposed to come out today with his dump truck and we were going to haul some some gravel out of the pit. I'm not sure if he's going to gonna make it now. It's, uh, he might have something else. Maybe he's going to go swimming instead. <laughs> I don't blame him. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna go find some water and jump in it. So, hard to say what I'll do today now. I just have to see how the day goes. But you know what? Some days that's just uh, that's just how it is. I mean, there's not always a lot to do here, especially in the heat. You just uh, you kind of gotta take it easy and do what you can. I think I will uh, weed the garden though. It needs it. I'll take you down and quickly show you the garden. I see some apples are starting to, to come on the apple trees. 
Yep. Grapes. Grapes are starting. And here's the garden. It does need to be weeded. So I think I'll do that today before it gets too hot. So uh, potatoes are coming nicely, as you can see. Uh, tomato plants, they're coming nice, looking good. And carrots, well, they were a fail for some reason. Uh, got green beans here, they're coming nice. Onions are starting to grow nice. Cucumbers are really good this year. Last year I had a problem, I had to plant them three times. But this year, cucumbers really coming along nice. And uh, again here, different type of carrot, another fail, no carrots. I don't know what it is. And I put in a few more green beans down here. So yeah, just a, so yeah, just a little garden, but uh, you know, I, uh, I enjoy just working at it and having some fresh veggies in the, in the fall of the year. Um, I had to make it a little smaller. It used to be bigger, but I had to fence it in for the deer. So I made the garden a little smaller and uh, that's a little less work. But I don't know what happened to the carrots. I just Carrots are not going to grow this year, I guess. Oh, well. Anyway, that's my garden. I'll weed it. I'll weed that before it gets too hot. It's already feeling warm. I hope we get... Uh, we're supposed to get that thunder and uh, maybe a thunderstorm this afternoon. Man, I hope so. That'll help cool things off a little bit. One thing about all this heat and humidity, though, the garden loves it. That'll help the garden grow. Oh, man. It's, it's way too hot. It's really, really humid. I'm just sweating uh, real bad. Uh, I'm trying to stay out of the sun. I've already changed my shirt twice. I don't want to get too much of this. This sun's really strong. It's not good for you. So uh, I think the best thing to do is uh, drink lots of water. I'm just going to lay back on the porch and, uh, and watch the day go by. Maybe I'll watch a couple of YouTube videos on my, uh, on my phone. That's about it. All right. Whew. Yeah, getting out of this heat. Uh, still waiting on that thunderstorm, but I don't think I can wait any longer. I think the next step to do uh, to cool down, I'm going to have to uh, strip down. And don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you guys. And uh, I'm going to get some ice cold water and have an old-fashioned outdoor shower. Whew, I'll be back in a bit. Well, it's getting, uh, getting on in the day. It's about 3.30. And uh, we had a few showers, but nothing major. But I can hear some uh, some major thunder going on uh, in the distance. So we might get uh, we might get a little storm yet. Who knows? You can see the sky's not looking good. So let's uh, let's listen here for a minute. Did you hear that? That's, a, that's some good thunder. It's had a little bit rumble that way. There was some that way, now that way. Oh. Wait, what's this? Yep. Here comes the rain. Oh, it feels good, actually. <clears throat> yep.
Well, that was a good one. <laughs> I love sitting here in a nice storm. I can see some lightning, uh, the thunder's rumbling, hear the rain coming down. Oh, it's nice, nice and relaxing. I bet if it was darker out, you'd get quite a light storm. Uh, I can see a lot of uh, a lot of lightning flashes off in the sky, but it's still too uh, too light out to to get much of a show. Well, at this point, there's nothing more to do except uh, I'm going to eat that fish because I'm getting hungry and uh, maybe have a cold beer. That sounds like a plan to me. Oh yes, that's going to be a beauty. Yes, indeed. Ice cold. Oh. Alright, I'd say this guy is done. Now normally I like to fillet my, uh, my fish, but this guy wasn't uh, quite big enough to fillet, so I just left him as is. And um, so how I cook them is um, I just put a bunch of olive oil on them, uh, throw it right on the grill, about five to seven minutes per side. And I know it's done when the skin is coming off like this and the flesh is flaking. That tells me that's done. So I'm gonna take this off the grill and uh, enjoy. Mm. Yeah, that just flakes right off the bones. There you. Mm. Oh yeah. Man, that's delicious. So what does Arctic char taste like? Well, my little girl said uh, it tasted like chicken. Literally, she said that, but without ketchup. <laughs> so she said she had to have ketchup on hers. Always got to have ketchup on everything. Uh, anyways, uh, it does kind of taste like chicken, but it actually, uh, an Arctic char is kind of, uh, it's kind of between, uh, in between a salmon and a trout. I think that's a pretty close description of it. Anyways, it's absolutely a delicious fish to eat. And, uh, yeah, I'm really loving this, so I'm gonna enjoy my fish and my cold beer. I'm gonna listen to the rain and the thunder, and uh, yeah, just enjoy my evening here at the cabin. Anyway, so uh, I'll end the video here. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're new, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon if you wanna be notified of new videos. Uh, also, if you don't mind, a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. And uh, as always, uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time back here at the cabin. Mm. Delicious, I'm telling you. That's so good. But I got to be careful, because last time I cooked fish here, a bear showed up. He didn't bother me or anything, but uh, he did show up. Uh, he can smell that fish. That's just like ringing the dinner bell for a bear. So I'll be keeping my eye out. And there's a bear around here too because he, uh, he actually upset my uh, compost bin the other night and ate all the rotten vegetables out of it. And then he, uh, he pooped on my driveway. So anyways, that's the way it is out here. <laughs>